Hi there and welcome back to the Ducoscopy Studios here in Geneva. I am joined today by Michelle Revachon from Goldman to discuss luxury branding and innovative ideas. So Michelle, welcome. Thank you. So since you were last in the studios, you've had some new developments. What is the latest development that you have been working on? I think we can summarize in saying that we are developing on two different fronts. One is the very fundamental research, which is about what kind of high-level sound can do on your brain. It's a neuroscience project. It means that the brain has some ways to recognize the sound of a music, uh, of a concert or TV or anything. And that capability is seriously damaged by the very high level and the distortion they are introduced by the equipment. So in order to minimize what is the damage created to your pleasure first and to your brain after, we try to minimize the distortions they are introduced. So when you watch a film, when you watch TV, or when you listen to music, you can play it very loud. You still relax, enjoying it. So it's a pleasure maximizer. And that's very important in the long term because, you know, with the uh, iPod effect on the young generation, uh, people are listening more and more to very high level music. And uh, there is a clear, uh, noticeable effect on their listening capability with aging. So we try to work with the neuroscience experts to enjoy better what you listen to and in the same time minimize the damage which is made to the ear and the, and the brain. And you mentioned another idea that you've got going on. The second subject where we're working harder and harder is about how to include music, film, TV, everything which is audio video in a house for people they have beautiful houses and they don't want to see it too much. So typically we call that the wife acceptance factor. And uh, you know women complain that the systems that the husband is installing in there living room is impossible. Uh, they have plenty of equipment, plenty of cables and things like that. And the technology is about making all of that disappear. Uh, going into the walls, going into nothing. Uh, how to make the final rooms that those people can have with beautiful decoration and everything absolutely not showing, you know, the audio or video equipment. That's probably the two most interesting research at the time. Absolutely. So, and finally as well, Japan's economy is hobbling out of a recession, but despite this, in March of 2015, sales of luxury goods actually went up. That's correct. So, do you believe that luxury brands like yours is recession-proof? I'm not sure we are a luxury brand yet. We're still a very small company, but we have managed to completely ignore recession or expansion or anything like that by just manipulating you know, the company business model in a way to compensate for the variations. So that's possible for a small company, that's less possible for a large company, of course. But the final answer is yes, if you are really going into luxury, you are very, very much less uh, damaged in your results by the changes in the economy or simply the conjuncture. People are more inclined to buy at some times, less inclined to buy at some other times, but in luxury far less than in uh, the other sectors of the economy. And so I guess it's good. it can be linked to your developments as well in your company that other small lower price items aren't developing as such. We try to, you know, we have made a lot of research and development in the 40 years of the company and we try to make that now benefit to products that are more accessible to regular people. But when you do that, you increase the numbers of the production that you make. So you're less and less recurring and more and more conveniences. 
So we don't do it too much. You know, the Goldman reputation is about making the best system in the world for the most uh, wealthy people. And we will try to keep that, definitely. Well, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us today. It was an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thank you.